Are you concerned about all this corruption being misgendered as conspiracies? Well, don't you worry. Sit back, relax, and join in the conversation as we talk with today's guest. Welcome to another LSB Film Productions podcast with your host, Chris Brooks. Hello and welcome to the channel. It's me, Chris Brooks, for another LSB Film Podcast. Uh, Today I've got Ian Drew with me and we're just going to have a quick update on what's been going on with Colchester Council and the splendid efforts that um, the girls from Colchester Council Watch have been up to, along with a planned event for later on in April. So welcome to the channel. Hello. Thanks for inviting me on. You're more than welcome. Mainly I'm um, representing the Essex Residents Association. We've formed this group to to campaign on the various issues that are affecting us all in our daily lives. Uh, And yes, um, we've been working with the girls from the Colchester Council Watch and they're doing a grand job. Um, I have made a couple of speeches at the Colchester Council. Um, My approach is perhaps a little more robust than theirs, but they've been chipping away at things and having some good progress. So they're they're currently working on this 5G issue where they've uncovered the fact that there are fraudulent safety certificates being used on planning applications. This is the thing that um, Nicholas Martin was on a podcast with me about. Oh, right. You know Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. 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 Splendid fella. So he's guiding me a bit on, on how to approach this. Um, we've got um, a lady, Lara, in South End. I don't know if you've spoken to her any time. I haven't spoken to Lara. Well, she's got a list of six, 18, I think, um, fraudulent certificates that have been used in South End. So, and I think there's four in Colchester. I've uncovered three in Braintree, and there's probably going to be a lot more around the county. So, And am I right in thinking that these are fraudulent because these are companies that don't actually exist? Yeah, all of these have been baked, done by 3UK, and it was dissolved in 2015. So this is what we're, yeah, I know, shake your head <laughs> and laugh. It, it is unbelievable, the things that they'll do. I just don't know how they get away with it. Um, well, money talks, doesn't it? Let's be honest, all, all these councils are corrupt. It's coming out more and more. Um, Absolutely, yeah. You know, from, from the work that Sandy Adams did, initially with Glastonbury, um, which has spread, and, and now with what um, Rachel and Karina are doing in Colchester, which has really taken off. Yeah, they've done really well. I, yeah, I can see their it. channels growing as well, so that's really good. Yeah, that's it, yeah. And also with, with what um, I'm doing with the National Residents Association, we've got groups all over the country from, from Scotland, Wales, the Midlands, everywhere around the country, we, we get together on a Tuesday night, and there's usually fifteen or sixteen of us on the on the meeting, um, talking about what they're doing. People are doing this all over the country now. It's really to- good. To, it's really nice to see that there's people now uniting and locking yeah, their heads together to come up with solutions. Because it's yeah. absolutely that's, that's that's where we need yeah, to go. Yeah, for that's now. what we need. Yeah. So the idea of our public meeting. Um, which is on the 28th of April, as you said, um, is to get the public along and discuss these issues, um, some of which they will know about, possibly some they don't know about. So we've sort of targeted eight eight things to talk about with um, people from our group who can talk about, introduce the issue and then open it up to the public. That's, That's good. how we plan to run it. Is this a free event, a paid event? Uh, no, it's a free event. We don't charge for anything, do we? Okay, well, that, that's cool. Yeah. That, that will, um, it's all, everything we do is funded by the people who are involved. Okay. Um, well, hats and, off to everyone involved. Yeah, and, and we have done a little bit of uh, fundraising with some boot sales um, up until the winter break, which will probably be starting again when the weather gets better. Yeah. And it all helps raise money for buying leaflets and stuff that you know we're always doing no absolutely so what what speakers have you got um, up? well speakers uh, i'm one of them oh, are you <laughs> yeah and what's got... your what's your subject 
Uh, well, I'm going to introduce it, the meeting, and talk about 5G and right, what, okay. what I've been doing on that. Um, we've, as I say, we've got a guy, Jimmy, from um, BY Security Services in Clacton. Um, hopefully, we've got a, a, a special guest, but I can't confirm that yet, so I'm not going to mention any names. And is, is the special guest relating to 5G? And uh, now this this will be generally possibly talking about immigration more, right? Okay, um, which is another subject that because we, Mark Steele would be probably quite a good. Have you heard of Mark Steele? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He, he's he's very knowledgeable on the, the dangers yeah. of five G. I think the days. thing is with it, we we're, we're trying to keep it fairly simple, um, because uh, you know. People are going to lose interest if it goes on too long in any one subject. Yeah. People do, don't they? So um, maybe that will be for another day if people want to go delve into it more deeply. We've also got Ian Jarvis. So you've probably spoken to him, have you? I haven't spoken to him, but I'm familiar with the name. Yeah, he, he he's from Birmingham. And I've been to a couple of his meetings and also on his Zoom meetings on a Wednesday night. So he's very active in the 5G sector um and yeah so hopefully if the meeting goes well we'll have another meeting and and be able to expand it from from what we've been doing no that's really good so okay. where is it being held this meeting yeah it's in the village hall um plough corner harridge road little clacton um the postcode um co 69 nd um and we've got posters going up everywhere advertising it i've put it on facebook and we're getting it on every bit of social media that we can that's good and if you send me the uh, uh, a link or a copy of the poster i will put it on my community page as well on YouTube. okay yeah we'll do that um we've recently as the essex residents association been supporting a guy in clacton chris mallet who's an ex-soldier who's been sleeping out seven nights last week to highlight the, the plight of ex-soldiers. Mm. Um, we've done a little video with him. I can send that to you as well, if you like. Yeah, by all means. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just um, went and had a chat with him, see what he's doing what, and uh, how he's promoting what he's doing, raising money for charity and, and trying to help generally with with the um, ex-soldiers who are out on the street. It's there, it was done, so they, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, one that's yeah, yeah. yeah, one that's Are you doing anything directly about other veterans charity stuff? This is what we're doing. Now, what we're doing this for, what we're doing, funds will be used for, basically go to Primark and go and buy 30 tracksuits. Yeah, oh, keep them warm, keep them warm, keep them warm, tents. You know what I yeah. mean? You can get a tent for a tenner out of yeah. range. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go get 30 of them. Yeah. Okay. Give them away. Yeah. You know what I mean? The little, yeah. little rubber, rubber thing, the metal where it is, give it to yeah. them. Things, things like that, yeah. it's not a lot, but it does make a difference. The, the church that's over there, the Methodist Church, Trinity Methodist Church, I volunteered there when I first came to move, move to Clacton. And they had homeless people going there. There was a guy in there living in a tent. And they give them stuff free. They feed them. Do they? They give them free. They've got a washing machine. They've got a, a shower in the church nice. where people can come in and use oh, the shower. Funny. Wash their hair, they give them stuff. But I bet it's the only one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I bet it's the only one. And how many, how many is it? There should be in every church. Well, I'm saying church. They should be open. 24 hours a day. They're not doing anything. They're only there during the day. It's all gone. But that's church. It's a part of the thing. You should go to church. Yeah, but they were feeding some people a day. I mean, there's a lot of people, isn't it? Yeah. That's just here. So what's it like? Clack is not a big town, really. No, and if you think of places like Ipswich and Colchester. Yeah, and Colchester is full of excursions. Yeah. So yeah. every, every, every street corner in Colchester has I mean, got they someone. Do, they do have a nurse going there as well. So that's good. It's good. Sure. So one nurse is looking after so many people. Yeah, well, you know, uh, But you know, in, one in, in theory, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they're probably volunteers. Yeah, yeah, they're getting paid for it. Listen, someone's getting the money, it's going somewhere, yeah. and it ain't going out here, is it? No, 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 no it's not going to be. Chris, I mean, can I ask you, still filming, Jeff, haven't you? Yeah. You've been here all your life, haven't you? You're proud of Clacks and you I love, love Clacks, right? I've been here. Right? I've thought 50 money's already been here for What do you think, what the future holds for this town, Chris? Be this, honest. I said, you, yeah. in five years, this won't be here. Right. This will all be flats. Yeah. I'm telling you now. And then you'll have 
the water clay, whatever. That's where you're, that's where you're going to do your shopping. Yeah. This will not exist. The no. butchers yeah. will not exist. Right. No. You'll have, you probably have 30 barbers down here. Right. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? yeah. And, yeah. And that's yeah. where it'll be. All bowls. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. McDonald's will be alright because it looks like yeah, my lot's hot chocolate and a burger. It's a so, so back When I was a kid, yeah. this was thriving. Yeah, All go. this was like holiday shop rocks. Yeah. You can't buy your flip flops in your rocks. Right. You know what I mean? Your fudge and that's all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Proper seaside town. Now it's just a town now. Yeah, it's a very good one. That you know, must, must be heartbreaking for yourself who's lived here all your life and seen the changes. It's, 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 not, it's not nice. No. You know, I mean, I said, obviously, we had, obviously, people I was yeah. involved with, we had butlings and that, you know, yeah. moving now, yeah. now state. Yeah. It's just, the people don't want to come here no more. Yeah. People in the London, I just got a character. They don't do that no more. There's no money coming in here. Yeah. Nothing coming here. Well, Nothing. We can only say well done for what yeah. you've done. I mean, yeah. I've been here nearly every night. With yeah. You have. Thank you. Oh, no, no, I just thank Blue. This Essex Residents Association have got your back to Christmas. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting cold. It's chilly. You can feel the cold. <laughs> it's biting. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. It's, it's a bit open, this door. When we finish our meeting, I'll go and bring you, me and Mel, bring you a nice hot chocolate back. I'll say, go on out. Right, yeah, yeah, make sure you put it on. Alright, no worries. Well, we'll come for five. Well, mate, we'll be hot with you. We'll be hot with you last night. That's it, yeah. His kids give me their pocket money, do you know what I mean? Oh, two little. Two little kids come. About, give about eight, eight and ten. Give me the yeah. pocket money yeah. for a donation. Yeah. And, and bought me a hot water bottle. Bless you. Yeah. you know what I mean? That's yeah, what it's, like that's what it's about. Some but see, that's people doing, doing it because they know me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people around here know me. Yeah. What we need is people to, to do that for people they don't know. No, exactly. exactly. I don't want yeah. to pass a homeless person. No, I don't. I don't. You know? I, 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 I used to. I used to think, well, you know, they don't need to be on the street. No, no one the way, no one this, the no way one things knows. have changed yeah. in the last few years. But no one in the we, window we would went choose in, this. We went in um, McDonald's and Colchester, didn't we, yeah. one night, and he's ordering coffees. He's ordering yeah. four. I said, no, all the five. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other one for? Yeah. I said, that bloke sitting outside the door. Yeah. Yeah. The top one we have as well now was the yeah. Just to say, you lose your job, whatever. You know what I mean? And you, you can't, you ask. If you ain't got five grand in your pocket, you can't go in somewhere. No. 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 Do you no, know what I mean? That's right. they, they want they want your deposit. They up want front. someone up front, and then they yeah. want someone else that can pay your your money. You can't pay. You can't. It's, yeah. For kids yeah. growing, mate. Honestly, yeah. it's, it's hard. And what did we say last night, Chris? Your free mortgage payments away from getting yeah, evicted for being here. Yeah. 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 Free yeah. mortgage yeah. payments yeah. away yeah. from being thrown out. And then they lose your furniture because you ain't got the money to store it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it happens. Yeah. It Sadly, it happens. And it's 2024 and it shouldn't happen. Yeah. But I think it's going to get worse before it yeah. gets better. Will it get so better? Well, that, well, that's well, it depends. Well, if we all stick together, it will. It's certainly going to get worse. Yeah. 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 Only yeah. if we stick yeah. together, yeah. it can yeah. get better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be shocked, shocked uh, um, to the core. Thanks, mate. Uh, thanks for coming again. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thanks for support. Oh, We're going to yeah. go and have our meeting there. We'll All right, you. hopefully we'll get more people we'll on top. Yeah, yeah, we will. All right. <laughs> and that was on the day, strangely enough, when 500 more came across the channel to be housed instead of our, um, our ex-soldiers. It's a sorry state of affairs. It is, it? certainly it's is, really yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, we've been... Active on lots of lots of ways. There was a farmers meeting recently in in Suffolk. To um, is this the one with um, the bowler hat farmer? That's it. That's the yeah. one. Yeah, some of our guys went to that. Um, and today there is a, a protest in London taking place, where they're meeting midday at Covent Garden. Um, is this before with, the tractors? With their tractors, yeah. Oh, see, I'd, I would have loved to have gone there just so I could have got some footage from riding yeah. a tractor that would have been amazing yeah well one of our guys is there hopefully he's going to get some footage uh, okay, cool. well, yeah, yeah by all means I'd he be was going there today to yeah so um yeah hopefully that will be successful uh, i know some of the farmers that came on uh the lady who was advertising it it was saying they were from kent somewhere trying to encourage more farmers to go so um yes it's something that there is a little a little bit of a deviation if you like they're talking about how farming's being affected by cheap input imports mm. but that's more to the point that we've been talking about is how their land is being taken away from them as it's as has happened in wales with this sustainable farming scheme mm. um well so there's that danny bloke as well that i danny beach bless him the farmer who had his 
his farm stolen, well, practically stolen from the Running Me Council. No oh, um, where he was imprisoned. Him and his sick wife was imprisoned for about six months until Oh they, yes, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Until they agreed to sell their farm and I think it sold at a third of the price. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and obviously they're trying to get a lot of farm, farmers to do this rewilding so crops aren't being grown and uh, you know there's lots of of comments about the weather situation at the moment, how it's being controlled and ruining the, the harvest for this summer. Um, these are all things that we, you know, hopefully we'll be discussing with the public to make people aware of what's going on. No, that's good. Are you finding you're getting quite a lot of public support when you're doing out yeah. doing your yellow boards? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we uh, it's certainly um, turned around big time in the last few years. From when we started it, we were getting so much abuse from mm. the public. But we do a regular spot outside the Colchester Police Station on a Tuesday. Oh dear. And um, they all know us there. The police um, don't bother to come out, although they see us when they're driving past and they all wave to us now. So, Do they? so quite, you've got quite a good reputation. Well, yeah, a quite good relationship with the police then. We have, yeah, in Colchester especially, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, when we do the Yellow Bridge, uh, the Blue Bridge, I should say, over the A12, uh, they always come and, uh, and visit us there saying that someone's reported people standing on a bridge or climbing on a bridge, but they know what they know us, so they don't call, yeah. give us any grief. Well, that's good. Um, that's so, uh, yeah, everything we do around Colchester, especially, um, they support us on. So, we, oh, we really just, good. you know, it, it just shows how things have turned around. What about the council, though? Are they... Because at one point, you'd kind of, with all the talks and meetings that you'd been doing in the uh, council chamber... What was it? Something like thirteen of the councillors had sided with you. With yeah, there are that. there are more coming round. Yeah, so surely, yeah, um, and, and especially with um, they. One of the councillors has now promised to have a public meeting if he gets re-elected um, in May. Um, but you know they've said that that before, and nothing has actually happened. So we'll we'll see if he he stands. Mm what he said you're just a bit concerned that that might just be like a sales pitch to get him elected well it, it's a bit like all the other things that i mean it's it, it's um political talk isn't it they know how, they, how to get out of things so yeah and never answer a question properly so uh, yeah, that's what we're up against but we you know we've just got to keep on battling on that's right. Keep persevering and just keep fighting the fight. Yeah. And, and at least you are getting like the people, the public more and more on your side, which obviously not only is that beneficial, it must be also a bit of a confidence boost as well that yeah, what you're doing it. is making an effort. Uh, it's yeah. making a difference. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I've been stalking the police and fire crime commissioner as he, as he says, um, where we've been reporting things to him at the meetings that they hold. Um, initially, it was because we, um, two of our guys were attacked by a member of the public, or two members of the public, um, outside Sainsbury's in Colchester. Um, we tried to report the crime, but nothing's happened on that. Uh, and so when I went to one of the um, the uh, commission meetings, I reported it, and the and this was in Colchester. Chief Inspector Cox spoke to us after the meeting, took all the details, and uh, and that's just gone quiet. So I reminded them at the next Police and Fire Crime Commission meeting I went to at Chelmsford um, of that fact and of another incident that happened in Clacton where one of our 62-year-old lady was attacked by the public. And also the fact that we've been... Um, measured by who? By a member of the public outside the school. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, all the police came, details were taken, but nothing's happened about that. So that was another one I reminded them about. And um, also, we'd been doing um, measurements of 5G uh, equipment that's on a building behind the police station in Colchester, which is way off the, sc the safety scale. And we went into the police station and asked to speak to the health and safety officer, um, but were fobbed off by them saying, oh, there's someone in headquarters will contact you, and nobody has. So I brought all these things to the next 
uh, Police and Fire Crime Commission meeting I went to, uh, and again, someone spoke to us and took all the details, and that was three weeks ago, and I've still heard nothing. So I've emailed them um, on Friday to remind them that they need to come back to me. So Are these they, monthly meetings or are they quarterly meetings? Um, they are every month around in different areas around Essex. So oh, okay. the first one I got them was at, was at um, Colchester. In fact, the first one I ever went to was in Chelmsford when I was arrested in Chelmsford for handing yeah. leaflets. <laughs> Since when has handing leaflets been arrest an arrestable offence? Well, because um, the arrestable offence was that I wouldn't give them my details, which I don't have to. I was going to say, that's not illegal either. No, well, what, what they were trying to do is uh, issue me with a fine by the, the council worker, and when I wouldn't give my details, they called the police, and I was arrested in public, handcuffed, cautioned, um, and uh, how did that play out? I should uh, well, have dropped all the charges. They, um, they, I was I was under arrest for about fifteen minutes, and then they searched me and found my driving license. So they then had access to my details and de-arrested me. And I've tried to claim, but it, it's just been uh, a lost cause. And I think mm -hmm. the fact that we were six of us had claimed off the Essex Police prior to that for being arrested, and and it cost them over 25 or well, 30,000 pounds in total in compensation really? for that. That's such a scam. That's such a scam. Because yeah. even like with the DVLA, we've, we've all been hood, hoodwinked because you have a driver's license, but driving is for commerce. So like a lorry driver, a bus driver. Yeah. You don't, you travel in your conveyance. Yeah. So you don't even need a driver's license, really. Road tax, again, is yeah. for commercial vehicles. Yeah. Congestion charges was always meant to be for commercial vehicles, not yeah. everyday people driving freely. Uh, so I'm doing it now. Everyday people traveling freely because driving is associated with commerce. It's yeah. such a minefield. But I'm sorry yeah, to get in there. Even to the point where um, you don't even own your car, do you? You're the no, you're the registered keeper. Robot. Yeah. Well, I've I've been doing all my affidavits to the DVLA, and I've corrected my errors there. Um, I'm in the process of doing my bank now, and oh, then I'm going to work through every government department, from the police to the courts to the NHS. Because if you don't do the NHS, they'll just they'll take you down the route of oh you're a loony, yeah, and then try and section you. So you're just covering your bases all the time, and then. And only then can you then challenge the system. So that's what I've been concentrating on for the last month. And it's so time consuming, isn't it? Oh, it's very time consuming. Yeah. And you've got to be so careful with how you word these things because just the slightest mishap, you've then gone into their world of yeah. doing, doing stiction by using certain words like driving or mister. Apparently mister is yeah. like the lowest form of title that you can have. All right. Male and female is associated to with animals, which are either masculine or feminine. So I'm learning so much. But when you fill in their forms, yeah, you're putting Mister such and such and such, even down to the postcode. You, do, yeah. you shouldn't need the postcode. It's all all their world. It's such a like you say. It takes so mm. much effort and time to get your head around. It's untrue. It really is untrue. But. Getting there slowly, getting there slowly. Yeah, we are, yeah. So are you still in communication with the National Residents Association? I assume you I am, that. yes. And yeah. I just, just see my phone was ringing from them. How oh, was it? <laughs> he was ringing me, yeah. Um, yes, uh, daily contact we have. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're all the stuff that I'm doing and the other other areas are doing we, we we get that together and so everybody can see what everyone's doing just to encourage people to do more really no, any successes good. that we have we try and share around so we know um to encourage others there's lots of new groups starting up there's one just just started up in dartford i think uh, residents association there um and cassie 
He spoke to Cassie, I believe. For the yeah, lesson. I haven't heard from her for a while. She's 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 uh blank. Well, she's not blanking me. I just haven't heard from her for a while. But I assume she must be rather busy. Yeah, she's she's just spent the weekend in Scotland with a group up there. Oh, has she? Yeah. So um, they've got a few different issues with their councils, but um, you know some of the same uh, issues kind of to what we're dealing with here, or. Yeah, I think it's to do, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, something that their local councils are, are pushing on people. So, um, yeah, they were, they've had this group going for a while. I've spoken to a few of them um, over the last couple of months. But um, so she went up there to uh, do a talk, really, and just um, give everyone a boost and encourage them to keep on with what they've been doing. So That's really good. She does put so much time and effort into it. That's it. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. So yes. and trying to do uh, a normal job as well. At yeah. least I'm retired, so this is my job now. <laughs> well, even that is still hard work. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of hours go into it, and I don't think a lot of people sitting from the other side of the fence realise just how time-consuming it is. Yeah, yeah. But no, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, well, we're all doing a good job. It's a team effort. Um, so with the Essex Residents Association, um, we've got the, the groups in Colchester and Clacton who are very active. Um, so yeah, it, it is a team effort. Are you Clacton area? No, I live in Braintree. Oh, you're Braintree. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not in any of those areas. but um, uh, And there is a... Um, Stand in the park group in in Braintree, um, who uh, are, are active in some ways, but uh, I'm now uh, starting to get into the Braintree Council. I had a meeting with one of their councillors a couple of weeks ago on how we're going to approach 5G with them, and uh, yeah, he's keen for me to speak there. So hopefully that will happen uh, in April sometime. That's good. But, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, do get on. updated. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else that you can think of that you want to um, share on the airwaves? Not just at the moment, no. This is a, a focus at the moment, taking up a lot of time, get this meeting organised, and then and then we can um, just carry on with our day-to-day um, protesting, if you like, if you want to call it that. I call it raising awareness. Yeah, I think that's We've moved on from a protest now so yeah um, no that that makes sense yeah. well, listen i wish you all the best for it like i said if you send me your poster i will display that on my youtube community page and okay. i might even use it as a thumbnail for this podcast okay uh, so yeah well listen all the best thank you thanks Thank for time. coming on no my pleasure as always and yeah keep me updated all done all right nice one look thanks after you. yourself yeah, All thanks. the best, mate. Take care yeah. now. Yeah, bye. Bye.